Mamzer Collard. Oh, hello there. Don't tell me. I'm going to meet a tall, dark man. No, I don't think so. Why would you say that? <laughs> oh, just a wild guess. Anyway, your cousin's female and very pretty. What? Your cousin from Marseille. How could you forget her so soon? She was only in your apartment yesterday. Ah, oh, really? Such a charming young girl. Isn't she? And in my apartment, you say? She let herself in, of course. She's got a key. Suddenly, everything made sense. My apartment had been bugged. That was how Plantard knew all about my article. How did I know? Because the only cousin I have is a sweet little guy called Jean-Marc, who runs a patisserie in Le Touquet. These people were determined, which meant they were also very dangerous. I suppose she'd forgotten which apartment was mine. Oh, Miss Collard, you're a mind reader. That's just what she said. Oh, I bet it was. Well, I'd better be going. See what my sweet cousin's been getting up to. Au revoir, mademoiselle. I would be obliged if you did not touch the art, mademoiselle. Please do not finger the wires. They are high tension titanium coated wires, especially imported from Birmingham, in England. This guy was either into art or wire, or both. If they were to become freed, this superb piece of kinetic engineering would topple and fall. At the same time, the force of the recoil would take your eye out. Please do not fiddle with the wires, mademoiselle. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Can I ask what you're doing? I am guarding the scene of a terrible and heinous crime. Yeah, this statue. Tell me about it. Au contraire, mademoiselle. This statue is a pure and visionary statement, a comment upon man's self-imposed isolation within a debased societal framework. Not a crime, then? The only crime you will find here is the murder of the great Monsieur Carchon. No. How dramatic. I know. Here in this very building, no less. It is top secret, but according to Carchon's wife, the killer was dressed as a man. Police believe there was an accomplice, a young female journalist. Even as we speak, she is being hotly pursued up and down the land. No stone is being left unturned. Good place to look for a journalist, officer. We police are no fools. Evidently. Why would a man kill Monsieur Carchon? He was a hired killer, I expect. Everybody knows mimes don't leave prints. How was Monsieur Carchon killed? He was shot in cold blood with a gun. Why was he dressed as a mime? I have my own theory. Either he was mad... Or? Or he was a real mime, trying to throw us all off the scent by cunningly not wearing a disguise. How long have you been in the police force? All my life, mademoiselle. It shows. Thank you. You must be quite an aficionado of modern art. Au contraire, I adore it. In fact, I double myself. Oh, really? I used to double myself, but I managed to quit in the end. Monsieur? Mademoiselle? Uh, no. Ever seen one of these? Not since I was a boy. My father taught me how to whittle using a metal cylinder like that. I bet that kept you quiet. Indeed it did. I'd never talk to him again. He died before I finished. I'd be crazy to show him the paper with the code. Ever see symbols like these? Only at the bottom of a bottle, mademoiselle. Ha! You see what I did there? I always find a little humor breaks the ice at the crime scene. Don't you agree?
Take a look at the shell case. My God! This must be from the gun that killed him. Are you sure? I think it is from an army field gun. Ah, yes, of course. The size, that's the giveaway, isn't it? Uh, no. What do you think of my elephant? Hmm. A poor piece, to be honest. Derivative. Crude. Forget about it. Oh, really? I was just wondering where I should stick it. Hmm. Somewhere that doesn't get much light? That's just what I was thinking. I knew better than to show him a safe key. What do you think of this pretty cloth? Wait a minute. What is this? I have seen this before, but where? Of course! Now I remember! At my dear grandmamas! Bless her little dressing table. How would you like a nice air clip like this? I must warn you, mademoiselle, that I have been trained to resist such improper advances. What do you think of this boat ticket? Mademoiselle, if you think taking me on a boat trip down the Seine is going to get me into bed with you, then you are mistaken. I have been trained to resist women offering boat tickets, and men too. We are up to date on gender issues, you know. Why wouldn't mine kill Monsieur Carchon? He was a hired killer, I expect. Everybody knows mimes don't leave prints. You must be quite an aficionado. Oh, can't. Oh, really? How was me? He was shot. Why was I have my own? Oh. Or he was a real. How long have you been in the. All my. It's shit. Thank you. I'm sorry, mademoiselle. This is a crime scene, and I cannot permit you to pass beyond this point. Please do not fiddle. I didn't need to call anyone. The door was locked. Hello, could I ask you some questions? That depends. Are you a cop? No, I'm a journalist. Bit late, aren't you? They already took away the body. I'm doing a follow-up on this story. <laughs> Tell me, are you related to the workman I saw digging the hole? Don't talk to me about flobage. Pah! Okay. He just won a fortune on the horses and he won't give me a cent. Well, it's his money. When he was broke, he was happy to touch me for a loan. Brothers should look after each other, he used to say. He's changed his tune, now he's brassed up. You're doing a fine job. Damn right I am. You should be writing about me, not that idiot that got blown up. The heroes who pick up the pieces when disaster strikes. Exactly. Well, give me your best smile and maybe I'll put your picture in the article. Oh, right. Just give me a minute to do my hair. There was nothing I could do. The workman had everything under control. The police had removed the body, but nothing else looked disturbed. A panel had been blown away, revealing a gap 
From this angle, I could see that something had been lodged in the gap behind the pipes. Behind the table were some damaged pipes. Voila! The police and forensic teams had missed a vital piece of evidence. Some kind of pouch. On the pouch was the cross symbol of Conchon's organization. I was on the right track. On the pouch was the cross symbol. Inside the pouch were two items. A strange metallic artifact Another coded message using the same cipher system. So, Plantard was involved with Cochon.
Plantard. Pierre Kiel. Murderer must have followed trail from Arno and Yamada. He will come for us now. We must be vigilant. Thierry's girl broke into Pierre's safe. She worries me. Imelda. So much for Imelda's innocence. Plantard was working for her. And for Conchon. But why did Plantard want to meet? Was it a trap? Or maybe he was in too deep and needed me to tell the story, whatever the story was. One thing was clear. It was a story worth killing for. Some journalists drink on the job, not me. Hey, what about my photos? Oh, of course. How could I forget? Well, I'm waiting. Get your camera out. Camera? Oh, I forgot. It broke. Hello. They should never send a woman to do a man's job. Well, this woman had fooled him easily enough, and found the evidence the police had missed. Hello? Yes? Have the police finished with the crime scene? What does it look like? I got orders to board up the windows, and that's what I'm doing. So the body's been removed? I certainly hope so, or it'll stink to high heaven when they take down these boards. Shouldn't you check? Are you kidding? They don't pay me enough to put up boards, let alone check for dead bodies. You see this ticket? Are you trying to bribe me? No. I don't blame you, of course. A good-looking fella like me. Would you like this air clip? What do you take me for? Some kind of a... pervert? Take a look at this. I don't like lessy hankies. They scratch my nose. I can see how that must be a problem for you. Would you recognize this? That is the key to a safe. A warrant especially, if I'm not mistaken. Do you like this coffee? It's the kind of thing you pick up for a couple of euros at Les Puces de Saint-Ouen. He wouldn't be interested. What do you think of my shell case? Are you in the scrap business? Of course not. Pity. I've got some rubbish just like that I need to get rid of. He wouldn't be interested in a substitution cipher. Look at this secret message. Very nice. But it's not secret now, is it? It's just a message. Do you know this man? He looks like a nasty piece of work. I had an uncle who was with the fascists, but we never talk about him. What happened to him? How should I know? We never talk about him. Have you ever seen anything like this? What do you think I am? A plumber? Do you recognize this? It looks like a kid's puzzle piece. Would you like to see this? No. Au revoir. There might have been clues down there, but I was relieved I didn't have a sewer key. The pipes weren't going to help my investigation. I needed to take a closer look at the objects I'd found in Plantard's pouch. 
Another coded message using the same cipher system. So, Plantard was involved with Cochon. Plantard. Pierre killed. Murderer must have followed trail from Arno and Yamada. He will come for us now. We Thierry's girl broke into Pierre's cell. Imelda. So much for Imelda's innocence. And for Cochon. Or whatever the... The artifact had a sword laid across scales. There was a picture of Lady Justice on the lock panel in the room below the conciergerie. The artifact... There was a picture of Lady... In the room below the conciergerie. I had decrypted Pierre. This is... Take great care. I... I the strange man had pointed back to the keys. I had come back specifically to find out more. I wasn't leaving empty-handed. The cross looked familiar. I'd seen it before. Moving the skiff would only damage it. I touched the slot, which was good. I removed the sh Plantard's key fitted the lock, so he must have used this place too. A photograph had been torn up. If I could just arrange the pieces... Oh my god! It can't be! There was no doubt about it. It was a picture of my father. Papa. Oh, God. 
After what I'd gone through, I thought I could face anything, but not this. My father, the one person in the whole world who I truly admired, standing with Crachon while those murderers carried on with their evil work. My father, grinning at the camera. I couldn't believe it. I realized that I desperately needed to get to the bottom of this story, and that I really needed George. Oh, hi. Bonjour, monsieur. Would you like me to foretell your fortune? Uh, no thanks. I'm very good. It only takes a minute. Thanks all the same, but I'm not superstitious. Besides, if it only takes a minute, that's not much of a future to look forward to. Do you know a young woman called Nicole Collard? Yes, I do. She lives upstairs from me in the apartment block across the street. The door isn't locked, but you'll need to give it a gentle nudge. It sticks, you see, because of the damp. The landlord said he'd fix it before winter sets in. He's been saying that for three years. How long has Mademoiselle Collard lived here? A few months. She's in for a shock when the cold weather comes. Drafty windows insufficient heating. It's a struggle to keep warm. The only reason I stay is because the rent is cheap. Your young lady, she deserves better. I thought Mademoiselle Collard was a successful photographer. Not as successful as she makes out for all her fine clothes. Oh, I've heard her crying herself to sleep at night. That's awful. Now don't you let on that I've told you. She's proud, that one. Too proud, if you ask me. Have you seen anyone out here watching Mademoiselle Collard's apartment? Yes, I have. A strange man, tall and thin as a broomstick. He kept his face hidden, but I saw his eyes peering from evil little slits. How was he dressed? A long brown raincoat with an hat. Well, like Humphrey Bogart. Yes, but he didn't have Bogart's charisma. Besides, this guy looked like he needed a toilet. You never saw Bogart clenching his buttocks like that. Is there anything else you can tell me about Mademoiselle Collard? No, monsieur. Are the flowers for sale? Oui, monsieur. Okay. I'll take a bunch of those white ones. I wouldn't do that if I was you. No? They are lilies, monsieur. Some people associate them with death. Yikes. Thanks for telling me. What other flowers do you have? Dahlias. What do they signify? Insecurity. Hmm. I don't want to give her the wrong idea about me. What about the tall yellow ones? Those are iris, the flame of passion. And the little yellow ones? Sensuality. Well, they're no use to me. I want to make an impression, not jump down her throat. I've changed my mind. Will you tell my fortune? You're going on a long journey. My, oh my. What a surprise. Can you tell me anything I don't already know? How does this fortune-telling routine work? If I knew that, I wouldn't be selling flowers for a living. Haven't you ever wondered why you were blessed with the gift? Well, it's a bit like satellite television, I suppose. Some of us are born with a built-in receiver dish. I just happen to be one of the lucky ones. Can you really foretell the future? Only time will tell, monsieur. The strange thing is, I can't seem to see myself in the future. Other people, I have no problem. But when I try to see what might happen to me, nothing. That must be scary. Maybe. I figure it's a kind of natural safety mechanism. Either that or I don't have a future. What do you make of this tool? Is it something a dentist would use? No, it's for raising manhole covers. Formidable. Do you recognize this nose? No, monsieur. 
What can you tell me about this tissue? Nothing. What can you tell me about this material? It's a very expensive piece of cloth, monsieur. See you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. Remembering the flower seller's advice, I pushed the door gently just above the lock. Hi. Bonjour. I'm glad you could make it, monsieur. Uh, please, uh, call me George. Fine. I'm Nicole. Take a seat, George. Eh bien? And what have you been up to? I've been exploring the sewers underneath the cafe. I thought I could smell something bad. The clown used the sewer to escape and to change out of his costume. I guess he was in a hurry. He left his jacket behind. And? I got his tailor's phone number. You had better luck than I did. Luck, she said. Luck. Hard work, I'd call it. What happened? My editor told me to drop the story. Can you believe it? But you're not going to do that. Oh, no. I'm going to find out what's behind these killings. It just doesn't add up. It almost feels like some sort of conspiracy. The police in three different countries have kept very quiet about the murders. The press don't connect them at all. They blame them on political, religious or militant minority extremists. Well, that covers just about everyone. Tell me more about yourself. <laughs> There's nothing much to tell. Well, how'd you get into photography? I guess I owe that to my father. He bought me my first camera. I was eight and my parents had just split up. Did you live with your father? Yes. My mother went off with her new boyfriend. I didn't mind. Papa was all I needed. Four years later, he died in a plane crash. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. I don't mind talking about him. He was more like an older brother, really. Always joking and laughing. Papa always wanted me to study art. That's why I went to college. Did you learn about photography at college? God, no. I couldn't afford the materials. We were billed for everything we used. Paint, canvas, paper. Most of my year turned to minimalism. It was cheaper. I used to go poaching in the park for squirrel hair. The only time I wasn't hungry was the term I did printing. I used to eat the potatoes. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Oh, no. Tell me more about the clown's previous victims. The first was Arnaud Bellotta, the millionaire pharmaceutical baron. He made his money from amphetamines in the post-war slimming and diet boom. Imagine it. Millions of housewives literally speeding their butts off. The only witness in the case was his Filipino au pair. She swears he was lured to his death by a snowman. What about the clown's second victim? Yamada, the controversial Japanese politician. He inherited his fortune from his father's electrochemical consortium. How did he die? At the hands, or should I say flippers, of a giant emperor penguin. A snowman, a penguin, and now a clown. I had been about to add mine to the list, but stopped myself. I really didn't want to have to explain to George about my father's involvement with Cachon. You know, I hate to admit it, but this is scary. And I'll tell you this, I will not be accepting any invitations to costume parties. I don't blame you for being scared. I am too. But this story could be my only chance for a big break. Or an early death. This is the tool I used to get into the sewers. Fascinating, George. You're not interested, are you? Oh, of course I am. I think it was very brave of you to go down those sewers. Yeah? Well, it was kind of scary, but... Well, I had a job to do. I found this false nose in the sewer. Hey, what's this inside it? The contents of someone's nose? Don't be cross, George. It says La Rite du Monde. Masks and costumes. It's a costume shop near the Gare Saint-Lazare. I'll check it out. Maybe the owner remembers who hired the clown costume. I found this tissue down the sewer. <laughs> That's disgusting, George. No, no, no. I think the stuff on it is grease paint, like actors use or clowns. It's still disgusting. Get rid of it. I found a piece of material near the cafe. When I showed it to the concierge, he recognized it right away. It's very distinctive, all right. Just wait until you see this. 
I developed the film I shot at the cafe. Here, George, it's an enlargement I made. Look what that guy is wearing. Checkered pants. The same material as I found in the sewer. That's right. This guy shouldn't be difficult to find. Oh, no? Take a close look at his right cheek. A scar in the shape of a horseshoe. Or a crescent moon. How come you enlarged this photograph of me? Because I noticed the guy behind you, of course. I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. Oh, hi. Bonjour, monsieur. How's your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. Maybe not yet, but I see your palms entwined in the future. I doubt it. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Oh, what a hunk. He's a killer. I can see that. His eyes stay tall. See you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. Hi. Oh, hello. I have to go. Okay. 